Hello everyone. The video you are about to watch is a brief overview on how to use your new Fanville phone. We're going to start with how to make a call. Making a call is very simple. All you do is lift your handset, dial the extension number or the external number, press the dial button, the other party answers, and you're now talking to them. If you're dialing outside the system, to make an external call, you simply dial the 10 or the 11 digit phone number. The 11 digit phone number would include one before the area code. The 10 digit number would just simply be the area code followed by the number. So in this case, I'm gonna demonstrate by just dialing the area code and the phone number. Press the dial button. and you'll notice that you're on an outside call. When all finished, you can either hang up the handset or press the end button. To call internally, you dial the four digit number. Again, press the dial button. When all finished, oops, you simply just hang up the call, either by returning the handset to the cradle or if you were using your speaker, turn off your speaker button. To use the redial, when you take the phone off hook, again, whether you're using your speaker or your handset, you'll notice the redial button. All you simply is touch the redial button and it will dial the last number. To put a call on mute, you have a call and you wanna to mute to the call. The mute button is right here. You'll press the mute button. You can still hear the party. The party cannot hear you. When you want to unmute, again, you just touch the mute button and it's turned off. When you're finished with the call, you can press the end button or return the call to the cradle. To put a call on hold, whether you've made it or received it, we're going to go ahead and make the call. To put a call on hold, you touch the hold button. You'll notice that you see that the call line is flashing. You'll see in the middle of your screen here that you have a call on hold. When you want to resume the call, you can either touch the flashing line or, I'll put the call back on hold, or you can touch the resume button. Again, when you're finished with the call, you can either end it or return the handset to the cradle. To transfer a call, you have your party that you're talking to, and you want to transfer them. There are two types of transfer. The first one I'll demonstrate is the blind transfer. The blind transfer being that you don't announce the call, you just simply hand off the caller to the other party. To do a blind transfer, you're on a call, you press the transfer, you dial the four digit, or excuse me, the extension number. You hit transfer. And you hang up. They answer the phone and they're on the call. If you want to announce the call, you have your call. You press transfer. You dial the other party. Touch dial. They answer you. You tell them who the caller is and to hand the call off to them, you simply touch the transfer button again, hang up your handset, and they now have the call. Let me take you through that one again. You have your caller. You hit transfer. You dial the other party. Touch dial. They answer you. You tell them who the caller is that you're transferring to them. You touch transfer. Hang up the handset. They have the call. 
The next feature I want to show you is how to park a call. On your phone, you will notice predefined spaces. In this case, I have one. I have SP1 on my phone. Sometimes you'll have one, two, three, but you'll have a series of SP buttons on your phone. When you park a call, it's you're actually putting the call on hold in that predefined space so that anyone can retrieve the call from their phone or you can even walk to another location and retrieve the call. Earlier when I showed you how to put a call on hold, hold kept it just on your phone. So you would have to return to your phone in order to continue the conversation. Parking a call allows you to put it out on a zone type environment or out in a zone that anybody else can retrieve or you can retrieve from another location. So let me demonstrate on how that works. I'm going to get a call on my phone to begin with. So there's my call and I want to park it. Now anybody else in the business and or yourself can see it on their SP buttons. So at this point I'm hanging up my handset and I'll show you how to retrieve a parked call. So you'd walk up to another phone, pick up the handset, touch the SP that is flash, that's solid red, and you've retrieved the call. Let me demonstrate again what that looks like. This is the caller. I want to park the caller. And on your phone, it's flashing red. On everybody else's phone, it's a solid red. To retrieve the call, you simply pick up the handset, touch the SP button, that's for you, and you've got the call. When you're all done with it, simply hit end or hang up the handset. To make a conference call, you have your first party on the phone, whether it's an internal or an external, whether it is one that you've made or one that you've received, you have party number one on the phone. You want to conference on party number two. So you'll touch the conference button. You'll dial the other party. Touch dial. They will answer you. You'll see that party number one is still waiting. You're talking to party number two. When you're ready to bring party number one back in, you'll touch conference again. And now you're on a call. So you see party number one, party number two. You can put the call on hold. You can take the call off a of hold. When you're finished with the conference call, you simply touch the end button or hang up the handset. The next feature I want to show you is the voicemail message indicating feature. By that, what I mean is, is that when you have a voicemail message, you'll have two visual indications on your phone. The first visual indication will be this gray button that looks like a little cassette tape will have a quantity next to it, and that's showing that you have new voicemail messages. The second other visual, visual indication will be red flashing up in the right-hand corner of your phone. Either of those are obviously, or both of those, are either flashing or there's a visual indication on this button. In order to retrieve your voicemail messages, you will simply touch the envelope button on your phone. Please enter personal identity. Or you can dial 9999, dial. Please enter personal identification and you'll be able to retrieve your voicemail. You'll have a separate training document or training YouTube on how to retrieve your voicemail messages. The next feature that I'd like to show you is the Do Not Disturb feature. The Do Not Disturb feature, when activated, when I press this button, you will notice that in your window, the little icon for D&D &D is lit red. When someone calls you, they will go immediately to your voicemail without ringing your handset. D&D not activated, the little icon is blue. Somebody calls you, 
you have the ability to answer the call. If you don't want to answer the call, you can reject it. And by rejecting it, it'll send it immediately to your voicemail. Also, you will notice that if you have any missed calls, you'll see the icon here with the quantity of missed calls. You can touch the call log and you'll see what calls you've missed.